Well, it's the morning of day three, and we have docked in Labadee, Haiti. So we are heading down to deck one, where we can get off the ship at the port, and we're gonna head to our beach lounger for the day, yes. do some swimming and snorkeling and relaxing and just having a good time. So come along with us. to Labadee, Haiti. This is our first port that we are stopping at on our nine night Southern Caribbean cruise with the Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. We're on the Explorer of the Seas and we are walking along the nice long pier in Labadee, Haiti. And man, what a beautiful sight, beautiful water. So there are two ships in at port on this day. Of course, ours, uh, the ship that we were on, Explorer of the Seas and Serenade of the Seas is the other Royal Caribbean ship there. Um, Labadee is a private port for Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. This is the second time we've been here. It's always been fun. Yeah, it's a great port and like I said, just gorgeous and beautiful. And we're gonna show you a little bit of the footage as we walk around uh, Labadee, Haiti. And then we booked an excursion through Royal Caribbean to uh, to hang out on a, on a bed at the beach. So we'll show you a little bit of that as well. Kind of excited. When you get to the end of the pier, you will be able to purchase other activities, but you need to have your sea pass card with you. So this is the area here that is, is called Buccaneers Bay. You'll get a great view of the cruise ships that are at the, the port. The Explorer of the Seas is a little bit larger ship there. Serenade of the Seas is a little bit smaller ship. Great photo opportunities, whether you have the Royal Caribbean photographers take it or even if you just take some cell phone photos it's a great spot you'll also see a lot of people hang out in this area uh, across the way there is the the little kiosk area where you can check in and purchase those activities that Kelly was just talking about make sure you bring your CPAS card because everything is paid for with the CPAS card yep and there's where you can do your best photo op right there if it is busy in the morning come back later in the afternoon and you'll notice it's not as crowded yeah, that's actually a really great tip because you will wait for a little while in the morning. As you can see, there's a lot of people standing around waiting to get their, their photos. So we're going to head back towards the east side of the resort area here to uh, Adrenaline Beach is the name of the area where we had our seabed. Seabed? Our, <laughs> our, our <bed>. beach bed? <laughs> um, but what, so 
Kelly, tell everybody what was included with our purchase of the beach bed. When we bought the beach bed, it includes four people that can lay on the beach bed. And it also has floating mats and two chairs that are up front just in case you want to lay in the sun. It did cost us $165.99 and you do have a private attendant that will come to you. And then also they'll give you four bottles of water. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, and outside of that, you can see here, there's a whole lot of different things to do on Labity. A lot of different areas that you can uh, hang out in, uh, different beach areas, depending on what type of activities that you want to do. So definitely do some research before you go to Labadee because there's so many different things to do um, on the island. Yeah, so there's a lot of different ways to get around the island or around this resort area. Here we actually commandeered this gentleman to take us um, via the uh, golf cart. We actually just walked up and asked, hey, we got to get to Adrenaline Beach. What's the best way to get there? And he's like, hop on, I'll take you. So certain areas they will, uh, and I think it's supposed to be for like suites or diamond or platinum members that actually get to uh, get the escort on the uh that get the escort on the golf cart. However, he, he went ahead and took us anyways. They have a tram that rides back and forth, uh, or I should say across the resort. It's basically a tractor with, uh, uh, with a tram that they're pulling behind it. And that's the typical way to travel kind of back and forth, but you can walk it as well. It is 260 acres, so keep that in mind. You'll get a lot of steps in. So, so think, think about, about the way, way that you want to travel back and forth uh, across the island as you do different activities. We're coming up on the Adventure Ocean Oasis for the kids. So if your kids are a little nervous about going in the ocean or they just like playing in the water, this is the activity area for them? Yeah, and this is kind of the far side of Dragon's Plaza before we get into the Adrenaline Beach area. And they're getting everything that kind of connects together with a lot of different things to, to do. On the side over here is where you have Barefoot Beach Club and Nellie's Beach, the access areas to those. Which the Barefoot Beach Club is only available to Grand Suites and above. gentleman that comes that will come to us and take care of us he kept checking on us every few minutes just to see if we needed another drink or if we're doing okay and then he, during lunchtime he did tell us where to go for lunch so he was actually pretty cool yeah and we had the beverage package on this cruise so we would just hand him our sea pass card he would run to one of the little bar areas and get us our drinks and bring them back over to us so we uh we didn't have to worry about getting up and going and getting drinks which was really kind of nice so we were we were kind of waited on hand and foot which was great um also with the beach bed we were provided uh, a couple bottles of water i guess four or five bottles of water and a little cooler which was really nice uh sitting next to the beach bed so that kept us hydrated um and like kelly said we had some other amen amenities included with that and with that price of $165.99, that is for up to four people on the beach bed, not per person, but up to four people. So just keep that in mind when you are booking something like that. Look in the fine print because it's not usually per person when you're doing like a cabana or a beach bed or things like that. Yeah, we, d we made that mistake one time when we were on the cruise and we both, me and our friend, rented the cabana so they had to refund the money because they, they explained it was, no, it's just one person, four people on the bed. Coming up to our bed. One thing I did want to mention is our attendant was awesome. So we would give him a few bucks every time he'd come and bring us drinks. So that is one thing I would mention is just have a little bit of cash on you if you do have a private attendant. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. 
about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for take my hand we'll make it somehow we can't miss out As you can see, the visibility was not super great. There was a lot of waves. It was really windy um, on this day while we were in Labadee, so it was kicking up a lot of the sand and debris and such. Um, but we still, we'll still see some good stuff here as as I swim along. Well, then at one point in the afternoon, the guards started pushing people away from the rocks because the waves were so uh, bad. They were. A little, a little rough seas. Yeah, I think everybody was looking for that Instagram photo of like standing there when the waves come crashing in over the top of them, but they would get a little too close to the rocks and, and it could be dangerous. So they, they were just trying to help protect them and, and keep them away from those, you know, the crashing waves and, and such. See your chance. Yeah, these are, uh, there's, most of these are pencil urchins with the larger spines. I did come across some pincushion urchins which have the sharp spines. So you want to be careful when you're when you're exploring around, reaching around, touching stuff, and or walking around. You definitely don't want to step on like that guy right there. That is a pincushion urchin. That does not feel good when you step on those. I can't even imagine. That has to be painful. Quite a few of them over there. species of anemone that were in here as well. Most of those are condylactis anemones or long tentacle anemones and uh, like brown, green in color. They're kind of cool. Did you find Nemo? Bah. Oh my gosh, honey. <laughs> no, I didn't find Nemo. Nemo lives in the Pacific Ocean. Oh man. I wish the clarity was a lot better because this, this would be a pretty cool shot here. And all of this footage is shot on a Hero 8, a GoPro Hero 8, which is the, the newer version of GoPro, not sponsored. Uh, it is a really great camera. The, um, even, even all that footage that was shot like on the tram, um, it's very steady, which is really, really nice. So it, it gives some good shots um, and is easier to color grade um, than the prior GoPros as well when you're doing some final editing of your footage, which is kind of nice. You can make colors pop and give it a good look. Here's some plate coral. Uh, I don't see this a lot, to be honest, when I'm snorkeling in the Caribbean, and, and especially not looking this healthy. Normally it has some die off where you, you can see like the skeleton, the, the white part of it, but that was really super healthy uh, plate coral there with its little little bubbles uh, to catch food particles. So I think uh, this is perfect feeding time for corals and anemones because all those particles in the water they're grabbing and, and there's nutrients on those and plankton and things like that and they're eating all of that. So super healthy, healthy day for them. So that's probably why he was uh, looking so good. And on the bottom, you can see a lot of green. That is just a lot of different types of algaes, bottle brush algaes, uh, different things like that. And it just kind of looked like grass along the bottom, but those are all different species of algae. And everything I'm shooting here is in 60 frames per second. So that way I can slow down the footage a little bit, um, do a little bit of a slow-mo. Um, when shooting underwater footage, what I found is if I slow it down to um, around 66% or 50% at 60 frames per second, it gives a nice, slow, kind of cinematic look, keeps it from being as, uh, like, from jerking around um, in full speed. So I do like to, to slow it down just a bit as well. And the GoPro at 60 frames per second in 4K 
really gives you a lot of versatility with your footage. So I, I recommend using using that product for underwater footage, but then it also worked really well above water too when we were just walking with it and, and uh, getting some footage. are you down right here do you know this was only about 10 foot deep or so and i'm snorkeling so i'm up at the top but i would occasionally dive down to the bottom and like i said it's only about 10 foot Uh, and here is a great view of Adrenaline Beach where we were hanging out and you see the waves crashing along the jetty there. If you look, you can see the, the lines coming across the, the screen there. That is the zip lines and uh, we'll see some, some zip liners come down here in just a few seconds as we pan across. Uh, just a great view of Labity Haiti here taken in. Um, all 260 acres of what they have to offer on Royal Caribbean's resort. Still lots of people coming and going off the cruise ship as the day goes by. Haiti is actually a really mountainous country, as you can see in the background, and um, it's just a really beautiful area. So this front area here is called the Dragon's Lookout Point. On the bottom right, there is an area where you can book massages. They have a spa there, which is really kind of nice. You can see the area down to the bottom right where the zipliners come in, um, haul in some booty and, and stop there at the very end. It uh, looks like they, there are some people down there on the lookout point right now, so they, they opened it up um, so you could walk down through there towards the end of the day. And then just another nice big open view of Adrenaline Beach and the zip lines coming in, down off the hill. Here comes some zip liners cruising across Adrenaline Beach. said before the resort area is made up of 260 acres it is fenced off from the rest of Haiti and cruise passengers are not allowed to go beyond that point here you can see the dragon's tail coaster and it stretches all back up through these uh, wooded hills here if you want to check out the full drone footage that we took from this trip check out the link that is in the upper right hand corner right now click that and uh, check it out it was really great footage
Hope you like it. There were a couple dogs that were walking around the beach bed area and just kind of hanging out. They didn't, they, they really didn't bother us for food or anything like that. They just kind of hung out. Um, but our day is wrapping up at Adrenaline Beach. So we are heading back to the cruise ship and to get cleaned up at the end of the day. And we really enjoyed our, our time. Yeah, the only thing I did want to mention is that there were three locations that you get complimentary lunch. Um, ours was the Labadee Cafe, and then there's also the Columbus Cove Cafe and the Dragon's Cafe. So we're coming across the shopping center. It's called the Town Center, and this is where uh, a lot of the patients have license to sell their crafty products. Yeah, now keep in mind when you are shopping in a lot of the ports, they can be fairly aggressive with uh, trying to get you to buy stuff. This is probably the most aggressive uh, spot of any port that we've ever been to when it comes to walking through and shopping and looking at different things. So just be aware, be ready for it, be very confident. Um, don't, don't feel bad if you just have to walk by people that are trying to pull you into their little booth or their section where they're selling stuff. There's lots of, lots of goods, lots of uh, uh, locally made things, but also there's lots of things that are not locally made that are being sold there. So if you are looking for something that is locally made, just make sure that you check it out. Um, and, you know, or if you see someone actually crafting something, then that's usually the, the person that's making handmade crafts locally. Uh, but you'll notice that each of these different like booths have a lot of the same stuff repeated over and over again. Um, but this is where you get souvenirs, you know, your Labity souvenirs. So we picked up our magnet um, here from one of the vendors. And uh, but uh, just be aware of the aggressiveness of those vendors as you shop. Yeah, the first time we came to Haiti, um, they were a little aggressive. So I ran out of the market. I was like, I can't do this. It's too much. So we didn't get a magnet our first time. So. We, we are on a mission this time and we got our magnet. We have to buy a magnet. We have to buy a magnet. Let's just buy one of those. Let's just, we have to buy a magnet. Let's buy one of the magnets. Doesn't have to be anything special. shopping done we are on the tram and we are heading back to the pier so that we can get back on the explorer of the seas get cleaned up and enjoy the rest of our evening on day three of our cruise well that was our day in Labity. And we are heading back to the cruise ship. Um, we hope you really enjoyed this video and got some extra information about Labadee Haiti. Hopefully it's helpful to you. And we hope you enjoy your day in Labadee Haiti when you find yourself there. So if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already because we have more videos in this vlog series from our nine night Southern Caribbean cruise with uh, Royal Caribbean on the Explorer of the Seas. So we've got some more great content content coming your way as well. Please share with your friends too. And until next time. We'll see you around the world.